JBG Tour presents the season-long race for the Bourgeois Cup. Welcome friends, let's get you to front nine highlights right away here at Willow Creek Golf Course in Barnesville, Minnesota. Brandon Lee here shot a one under 35 on the front nine. Let's check out his highlights. Get you started up here. Here's Brent's birdie putt on hole number one. Starting off with a bang, birdie on the first hole. Can't start better than that. Great pace. We'll pick him up his tee shot on number two here. Goes a little long, but gives himself another birdie try. What does he do with it? Knocks it in. Great putt. He needed a fist pump to the crowd. It's a great start. Two under. A two under start for Brandon. We found a lot of fairways today here on the front nine. As you'll see here, here's his second shot on the third hole, par four. And he's got another chance to go birdie, birdie, birdie to start the round. But it didn't fall in, he would take a par there. Still two under here on this par four fifth hole. He's got a long birdie putt and he had the pace going today. He's become a very good leg putter on tour this year. He really this round could have been very special. He only had a couple bad shots here. There's one on par 5 6. He had to take a pitch shot out and just into the green there, and then he missed the bad leg on the birdie putt. I mean, if you're not birdieing this hole, it's basically a bogey. And there's his lone bad shot of the day there on hole 8. A short chip that would lead to a bogey and shoots a 1 under 35 here, with the par on number 9. That's a great start for Brandon. Well, let's get you right into Jordan's. Front nine highlights here. He's being he'll be in second place now with plus three of thirty-nine here. The only thing that's holding Jordan back is his distance. Now you'll see it off the tee, it's very short. Um, he struggled well behind Brandon. He struggled here as a second shot on par five first hole. He had to couldn't take a full swing and would end up having a bogey as Third shot here on the par four. The third hole, yeah. The yeah, third hole. Shot again. Sneaks that one in for par. You see his the relief on his face. He almost missed that one. He would have to take a drop here, a free drop from the 200-yard marker. That would lead to a par. And here on the eighth hole, par three. His third shot falls just short after a bad chip. He would take a bogey there for to go to three over. And here he he finally had one good chip here on number nine that would. Sneak, snug up nice and close and we tip, tap that in for his par here at 39. It's not a bad score, but he could have done a lot better here. So after the nine holes of the third leg of the Bourgeois Cup, Brand has a four shot lead. Welcome back friends, we're going to run you through some highlights here on the back nine before we get you caught up to the golfers. Uh, Brandon Lee was, at this point is 200 through 16, Jordan Lee 8 plus 8 through 16. We'll pick you up with uh, Brandon here on the first hole of drive. That finds the center cut of the fairway. It's a good drive by him. Here's Jordan's tee off, now on the 10th hole, par 5. At plus 3, looking to improve on his last round here. and make it competitive with Brandon. This was Brandon's third shot from underneath the tree next to the green and plays it beautifully. Great chip. You'll have that for birdie. This was Jordan's birdie poorly, putt. That's, poorly run. That's off by quite a bit. And here's second burst, same as the first, a tap in birdie for Brandon on the 10th hole to get to two under. And what happens when he gets a birdie? He gives it right back with a bogey. So it goes back to one under and Jordan's 
chip shot here on par 3, 11th hole, snug up right next to the hole there, you tap that in for par. This is Brandon playing from the wrong fairway, nothing new here, but he's able to get that close. He had the wedge going today. You can put that within six feet there. One Jordan's birdie putts from, runs it right by the hole. Ran for birdie here and, whoa, unkind. I've never seen lip outs happen more to any other player. He has quite a quite a few of them here so far. This just the third leg of the bourgeois. Here's Jordan's chip on the 13th hole. He's trying to punch under the tree there, and he just it was just rushed. He got quick. Here's Brandon again for a birdie, and just read it wrong. This round yeah, once again it could have been something. A lot of missed opportunities, lost strokes. So you just tap that in for par there, and. What's going on here? Yeah, this is, I don't know how exactly how to explain this, but one of the worst slices ever recorded. It got out to the middle of the fairway and literally took a 90 degree angle and went about 50 yards out to that field. And here on the 15th hole, par 5, the second shot finds the water. If you look closely down there on the right, you see the splash and you'd have to take a drop. It's here. really uh, unexplainable to be hitting it hitting it in the water on this so I mean it's playing only 450 yards it's a par 5 so this he has to get up and down for a par and he shot that one over the green and there's one of Brandon's shots that just sneaks in every round Jordan leaves that bogey putt just short you don't have to take a double that's tough around this course you go to 7 over now and now it's pretty much out of hand here this is just the last hole we'll get you caught up here Jordan hits a fairway actually the drive probably went about 140 yards. <laughs> yeah, the driver's just not working for him. Ran once again a little little off to the left here, but just the wedge game was going. Just a little flick wedge, and that's where we'll get caught up. Now we're back to live coverage. Two holes left here. Brandon has an eight-shot lead. Yeah, I believe so. Looks like he's... This is a par three downhill. I got the water on the right. It looks like he's taking a, a gap wedge. I'm sorry, Jordan actually bogeyed the 16th old Bren has an 8-shot lead with just 2 to play here. What a beautiful day. There's hardly any wind. It's a nice uh, rhythmic swing. Made a good pass at the ball. That's going to find the green. That's done nicely. So here's Jordan. Plus 8 on the 17th. Par 3. Here's his tee shot. Grab the pitching wedge. That looked like his best swing of the day. Yeah, it did. That should end up pretty well. He's watching, and he's gonna have a he's gonna have a birdie putt. Plus himself about a 15 foot uphiller. Shouldn't have many problems with this. Just gotta get the speed right. These last two tournaments here of the bourgeois, he's his putter really hasn't been helping him out. Mm -hmm. Case in point there. Just gonna have to tap that in for his par, and he's gonna get all the way. Bren has a about a seven foot birdie putt here. And Brandon's ball right here is sitting basically on the top of a pyramid area on the green. And the pin's and in quite a difficult he's spot. He's got to hit it pretty straight. They go as a little bit to the left, a little bit to the right. It's leaking off either way. Naturally. Mm-hmm. He's had great rhythm on the with his with his putting stroke here, and this should be. You think one of these would fall? Ooh, wow, perfect. Back to two under, tip of the cap, and this is once again three tournaments, three victories for Brandon. He's got a commanding lead in this 2017 race for the Bourgeois. He's also elected today to go a lot of three wood. Is probably trying to control a lot more and hit, say, hit, hit some more fairways because what, what we've seen from his wedge game is pretty impressive. So if he can utilize that more, he'd be in really good shape. And that went off to the right there. You can see Jordan's stance is wide open. He's just, he's, he just looks stiff. I know him. He'll work hard at it and he'll, he yeah, wants he, to make these more yeah, competitive. He, he's a hard worker. So here's his second shot on the 18th. It's an approach. He's probably got about 
I would say about 80 into the hole. That's just not going to do it. It's going to come up short. He's that's typically what happens with Jordan. I think he just takes the wrong club more off, more times than not. And there's nothing wrong with going for the center of the green. No, nothing at all. I think he's hunting the pins. Mm -hmm. So here's Brandon. Just leaked off to the right a little bit. Yeah, you've got to know which pins you can attack and which play, which pins you have to play safe on. So Jordan's short here, and he's going to try to finish out and let Bren have the glory here. Bren's just a little short as well. This is for Birdie. Oh, gosh, he would like this. Oh, and that was it. He just didn't have the speed. What a round is that? Gets applause from the crowd here. 41 for Jordan, plus 880. I'm, a, I'm a, just a little surprised that he didn't play a little bit better this weekend. That's true. I expect a lot more from him. I think he expects it out of himself, too, as he shakes the caddy's hand of this Brandon here. Looks to finish off with a birdie for a 69. That would be the low round on the season on the bourgeois. This is quite the display of golf we've seen. It's quite a... Quite honestly, a whipping. Mm. It's one of the most complete rounds of golf I've seen Brandon play. And that's not going to get there. The tip of the hat as the crowd sends off their cheers. What a what a round. 235s for like 270. And he is the champion here at Willow Creek Golf Course for the third consecutive week in the Bourgeois Cup. Thanks for watching, friends.